Hi, Susie. I didn't know if it was too late to go live. Oops. Hey, Kat, where have you been? <clears throat> hey, Jen. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Crystal. Well, Melanie, you guys are in California, so for you guys, it's not late at all. Hi, Don. Hey, Pam. Hey, Darla. Hi, Mama Bear, Cindy, Diana, Sally, Gail, Lisa, Candace. Happy birthday, Candace. A birthday card is on the way. Hi, Susie. Hey, Sharon. Hi, Nancy. Mushroom Ink. Interesting. Okay. Hi, Venus. <clears throat> so we do have some beautiful new foils from Blue Bonnet. And let me just preface this by saying Blue Bonnet is in the U.S. Oh, Gary. Okay. Hi, Gary. Um, Blue Bonnet is based out of Texas. It is a very small business. You can only purchase them through Facebook. I'm going to keep putting the link in here until... Um, if my admins jump in, Chow was feeding the baby. Stacy was out running errands. Um, so if you want to purchase from them, they're a little different because they're not a conventional store. It's a single person running <laughs> Blue Bonnet. Now they do sell um, toner foils and hot foils. And I want to show you the difference here. So when you get, and I primarily use them for hot foils. So when you get their hot foils, it says hot stamping foil, okay? That is for your Glimmer machine, your Gemini foil press machine, your Couture Crea Creations Go Press and Foil, um, Foil Quill. That's when you want to use hot stamping foil. So I always, always recommend her for hot foil. You get a nice long roll of foil, variety of different colors and so on, okay? But today, today we're going to use her toner foil. And you guys know I normally like to use tone foil for a number of reasons. Toner foil is a little thicker. Um, you're going to see that this foil is a little thinner. Toner foil is thicker, so it's not as staticky. Um, plus, you kind of get, you get a more, you get longer rolls. You get 12-inch rolls, and you get 25 feet of foil. But she's come out with, Blue Bonnet has come out with some new designs and colors. So I said I would try them out for you guys. Um, yes, Violetta is an awesome person. Her shipping is fast and she's reasonable. I think these rolls are $6, you guys. $6. Um, and it does state on here, toner reactive foil. So toner reactive foil or textile toner reactive foil. That's going to be... Um, for your mink machine or your laminator. Now, in order to use these foils that I'm going to use today, you have to have something printed with toner ink. So for those of you who downloaded the Kitchen Sink Stamps, um, print your own downloads. We're going to foil some of these. Um, if you purchase any other kind of foil art, we have Crafty Critter foil art. Um, Deco foil sells some. So I thought, you know what? There's some nice Easter colors in here. Let's use these. Um, this is going to show us a little more of how it looks solid. So we're just going to play tonight. And again, if you want to order any of them, I highly, highly recommend her hot foils for sure. Let's see how the toner foils do tonight. All right. Um, well, Kat, I hope everything works out. Yeah, we missed you. Hi, Cynthia. Hey, Don. Okay. Hey, Cindy. Uh, these are the new ones that she put out last week. Yep. So I'm going to tell you the ones that I got. You guys will write this down, and I'll show you some of the samples I made. Um, the one thing I, I had an issue with, I struggled with, is... I'll just show you here. Um, they had the sticker. Here we go. I don't like the sticker. I say this about every single foil manufacturer. They all put some kind of sticker. Hi, Jody. 
they all put some kind of sticker on their foil and it drives me crazy because when you remove this, you'll always have a leftover sticker residue. <sighs> it just drives me crazy. And, you know, unfortunately, you know, I think they're pretty, but I would honestly, Violetta, I would honestly, you just not put a sticker on there at all. <laughs> and, and I guess the people can speak to how they feel, but when you put this sticker on there, you end up wasting two parts of the foil. The part of the foil that the sticker's on, on the seam, and then the back side where it's taped. Okay, so I hate this thing. I hate, hate. Everybody does it. Spellbinders does it. Drives me crazy. Okay, so, so now we got this kind of mangled sticker issue. Please tell me I'm not the only one that deals with this. And now I have mangled foil to go with it. So, ooh, that's a very trans. So then what happens is this piece of, the, piece of the foil and this piece of the foil is messed up. So I normally use these to kind of, um, you know, do my swatching and so on, but it bothers me because all the foiling companies do it. And to me, it's a little bit of a waste of foil. Well, I did not know that this opal foil was so translucent. So we'll have to see how this looks. It's very pretty though. So some of the ones I've used, I've already been playing. And of course, we're going to do Dusty Dusty. Ooh, I saw a big chunk of glitter on there. Dusty Dusty. Dusty Dusty, the backside of this. Um, there is, I'm going to admit, Peeps Sugar on my desk. <laughs> So there may be some dust spots in here. Yeah. Dawn says she uses adhesive, like undo remover, I guess. Yeah, that's a good idea. I didn't think about that. All right, so I'm going to, I have my mink on four, okay? I started on three. I got a little bit of underfoiling, so I have moved to four. This is the translucent pearl. Oh, you know what I should do this on? I should do this on those colored, to to the new colored toner sheets from Crafty Crita. Ooh, they're on the other side of the room. Yeah, H and H does use the long labels. You're right. They use like a post-it note label. You're right. H and H does it right. You are correct, Pam. All right. So the ones that I've done. Oh, this was the one I was going to do. Can I do purple shamrocks? If Tracy were here, she would say, sure, why not? Purple it up, Nance. Okay, so again, wherever you see the stickers, you gotta ignore that. That's not the foils part, it's not the toner part, it's the stickers fault. Hi, Sherry. So I have a sample of each one, and I'm going to tell you what their names are. I'm going to show you what the foil looks like, and I'm going to show you what the outcome looks like. I'm going to move these things out of the way. We need to get Nancy a new desk, a bigger desk. Nancy really doesn't have the room for a bigger desk. It's wishful thinking. Now remember, this is a translucent pearl. Oh, okay, I really like how pretty that is. And remember, this waste foil you can put on toner sheets, and Crafty Krita has those colored toner sheets. I should have brought those over here. Um, they're the only ones that sell it. Okay, so here is the pearl. It looks like a rainbow, but you do see the black. So the black comes through, ignore the sticker. Ignore the sticker. Um, but it's very pretty, very pearl, like mother of pearl. So that one, mother of pearl, I'm going to call it, is TTR number three. And just confirm everything on her website before you order it. Okay, TTR number three, and I'm going to call this a mother of pearl. You can see it's very translucent, and that's exactly what it looks like. Mother of pearl rainbow, it's very see-through. 
very pretty. But whatever, remember you have to stick this to something toner printed. Well, I guess you could do um, texture paste too. I didn't try that, or De Deco Foil Duo Gel. But it's gonna give this very subtle mother of pearl look. That's the best way I can describe that one. So your toner image will show up black underneath. But if you're using, think about those colored toner sheets from Crafty Crit. If you guys order those and you die cut them into certain shapes, you could have that mother of pearl with the pink background or green background or blue background. You know, they had eight different colors. Okay, so that's pretty. Um, this one is a lilac and there's two new purples. This I'm going to call lilac and this one's TTR number four. Now, this is not necessarily holographic lilac. It's just kind of lilac. So, TTR number four is this purple lilac. And let's see what it looks like foiled. And again, we got sticker issues here. Okay, that's not bad. You see the color there? So it's a very pretty light purple kind of lilac. Okay. It's not really holographic. It's just a really light purple. So that's TTR4 for that one. That's that one. That's that one. Okay. Where my other samples go? Oh, I stuck them in here. Okay, so this is a red holographic. I don't know of a company that sells a red holographic that's plain. It doesn't have any designs on it. Okay, so here is the red. It does have the holographic, but there's no uh, embeds. There's no glitter stars. There's no designs, and it. it's just a red holographic. Okay, it's a very pretty. It's red, and then you got some orange bouncing off of that. So that one is this one here. So if you wanted plain red, I know that a lot of the reds that we have have stars and hearts and things like that in them. Glitter, this is a plain red holographic. That one is TR24, TR24. T-R-L-M, so that means Toner Reactive Laminator 24. That's the red, T-R-L-M 24. I only have a couple of them. Uh, Cynthia, yeah, I'm going to talk about that. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, this one, this one very much reminded me of H&H has a color shift one that is a teal purple color shift. This one kind of reminds me of that one. This has more purple in it than blue. So if you have the teal purple color shift from H&H, &H, re this reminds me of that one. I'm not a big fan of this one because um, I never can get it to foil really well. It's, it's cool because in one light it looks blue and then when you turn it in another light it looks kind of purple. But it really is kind of finicky. So I, you might need to just, you know, probably turn the heat up, I'm guessing, to five. You can see here on the edges I didn't really get great foiling. In fact, I started this one on three, pulled the corner back, and saw that it wasn't foiling and stuck it back in at four. So I'm thinking five on this. It has a unique effect. Um, it's just not my favorite. But if you like teal and purple, like I said, uh, this one is TTR number two. Very similar to the color shift one from H and H. Theirs is a teal and a blue. This is a teal and a purple. I bet if I put them side by side, they look pretty darn close, actually. So that one's TTR number two. Okay. Now these eggs, these came out of a deco foil sheet. It comes with these eggs and bunnies. They don't foil real well, you guys. The designs are so tight that there's a lot of missed spots in the foiling. I don't think it's the foil, it's the design. When a design is too tight and too small, as your foil starts to stick, you get a lot of missed spots. So I don't love these. Violetta, 
We voted, Violetta. We don't like the stickers. No more stickers on the foil, Violetta. You got you got to come up with a, a easy to remove sticker. Okay, these these stickers got to go. They got to go, girlfriend. We don't like the stickers. <laughs> All right. So these two were my favorites. So this one, this is TTR number five. And it's like a pastel watercolor is what I'm going to call it. It's very, very pretty, very light pastel colors. You have a little bit of yellow, pink, blue, green, but they're very soft colors. So I call this one a pastel watercolor. And let me show you how it foiled. It's very subtle, very pretty, perfect for Easter, perfect for, you know, a little girl. Um, but look at how soft those colors are. You still get the beautiful foil, but you can distinctly see the light pink, the yellow, the blues, the greens. You see that? And again, these don't these don't foil real great. It's the print. It's not the foil. It's these deco foil toner cards aren't the, the best. Okay. Pretty. Okay, so that one is TTR number five. TTR number five. Okay, and my favorite out of the release is this guy. Oh, I love this one. So this one is TTR number one. And this one is a very vibrant watercolor look. So this is similar design to the other one, but Look at these colors, you guys. Perfect for this time of year with spring. You have a bright fuchsia, a yellow, a blue. There's a little bit of a mixing of an orange there. There's some purple here. So they really let the colors kind of mix. It really does look like a watercolor look. It's very bright, very vibrant, great for Easter, birthday, graduations. You got a lot of things coming up that you want to pop in your face celebration. This is it. And again, the the... The deco foil art doesn't show, but on these Easter eggs, look at that color. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, so if you're interested in any of these, I'll put the link there for you guys. Again, you PM her which ones you want. Tell her your address. She'll send you an invoice with the shipping, and she ships out pretty quick. And I think it's six dollars, six dollars for a roll, right, Violetta? And these are big rolls. So your traditional. Here's a roll of your hot your hot foil. I mean, it's really tiny. And her hot foil rolls and her regular toner rolls, you get like another three four inches of foil there. But I really, really always recommend her hot foil. So if you just got a glimmer or a foil press or you do the foil quill or go press and foil, you definitely want to pick up her hot foils. Definitely, definitely. I'm going to do this one again. I'm going to do it on that Chevron more solid so you guys can see what it looks like. This one. Thought it was going to be too late for a live, but you guys are hanging out. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up. My Facebook's broken. It says there's only six people watching. I know there's more than six people watching. So again, this one is my favorite, TTR number one. TTR number one. But wait, I do have one more we're going to test out, and I have not tried this one yet. So we're going to do this one, and then the one you guys have all been waiting for. That's right. We got some white. So we're going to see how that does. Okay, we need the dusty, dusty here. Dusty, dusty. I got some speckles on here. I don't know what that is. Peeps. It's peeps sugar. I'm sorry, the peeps have betrayed me. Now, 
for my friends that are in Australia, I do have a box on the way from Crafty Critta. So for you folks in Australia, um, there's some stuff coming from, from down under for you guys. I don't have it yet, but I'm just letting you know. I know that the shipping has been very difficult from the U.S. to Australia. So I try to represent companies that um, will ship, you know, internationally or, you know, if you're in the U.S., support a U.S. company and so on. But um, there is a box coming to me from Australia. So just letting you guys know. Hi, Pam. Oh, thanks, Sandy. It's a sticker. She stickered it and lacquered it. Yep. All right, so let's look at this one. And again, I used four, number four on the Mini Mink. Shall we take a look-see? Oh, oh my God, I love it. I'm not sending this to anybody. I'm keeping it to myself. It's so pretty. My precious. Oh, those colors. So beautiful. Blue, yellow, fuchsia. Mm-mm. Yummy, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. And you see they all foiled well. They foiled very well. And then we can use this on colored toner sheets or black toner sheets. All right, so those, that was the experiment on those. They all did pretty well. You might need to think outside the box on how you're going to use translucent. Um, the two watercolor ones are definitely my favorite. Let me go through the, the numbers again in case you're just joining us and you have no idea what I'm talking about. You got to go back and watch the replay. So we are doing toner foils or textile foil or mink foils from Blue Bonnet. Do not confuse this with her hot foils. She does have hot foils. So hot stamping foil is for Gemini Foil Press, um, Go Press and Foil, Gemini, or Glimmer Spellbinders Glimmer Machine or the Foil Quill. That's when you need hot stamping mm -hmm. foil. If you are going to be doing foiling with your mink or your laminator, you want textile or toner foil, also known as laminator foil. Um, this one just says toner reactive foil. As long as it's toner or textile, you're going to use these in your mink, your laminator, any of those kinds of machines. I always recommend a mink, but there are some laminators that do a pretty good job. I don't think they do as good a job as a mink, but I am biased. Okay, so the ones that we went through, the light pastel kind of oil slick watercolor one is TTR number five. Okay, the red holographic is TRLM24. The, the color shifting purple blue is TTR number two. And again, I think on this one, you need to make a note to use a higher heat on this one. My favorite is the uh, bright colored rainbow oil slick watercolor. That one is TTR number one. Perfect for this time of year. The lilac is TTR number four. It's a very light purple. Um, I'm going to say this is pretty close to H&H &H Wisteria. I know sometimes you say, is it close to what I already have? So I think this is pretty close to Wisteria. Okay, so TTR number four. And then the Mother of Pearl is TTR number three. And again, this is a translucent foil. So you need to be pretty creative on how you're going to use this one. Because that black toner is still going to show through. It's very pretty, but that black toner will still show through. So you still see, when you look at it head on, you can see that printed black. But when you tilt it, see, you get the color. All right, so those are those. I am using the mini mink now if you got a naked mink at home if your mink doesn't have an fsc sticker shame 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 on you okay <laughs> 
if you need a little FSC sticker, it's going to be a littler one than this, and you don't have one. Normally, I try to send them out when I send cards and stuff, but if you need one, you don't have one, and you just feel left out, your mink needs a sticker, I'm going to give you an opportunity to email me at foilingsnobsclub at gmail.com. I'll type that out for you guys. Foilingsnobsclub at gmail.com. And I will send you one because I love you. And the only thing you have to give me in return is a thumbs up and subscribe. That's it. Thumbs up and subscribe and you will earn a little FSC sticker for your mink. Okay. All right. So let's talk about white. White is extremely hard to find because this is an opaque material. Okay. I understand using black when we toner foil because sometimes um, we toner foil an image just like, uh, and you want that glossiness to show uh, like heat embossing. And hey, look, that's the first sticker that came on. But white is a different kind of animal. White is very opaque, as you can see here. So we're gonna see how this does. And the only way I could think about actually testing this was to do it on black toner sheets, die cutting some images. So, take a sip of my Pepsi. Hey, Abraham. And I think these are the cheapy toner sheets. Yeah. These are super thin. My least favorite. Um, but like I said, all my good stuff, my Crafty Critter stuff is in a nice put away basket. It's my precious. I don't, I, if you get Crafty Critter from Nancy, like you are uber special to get that. Um, let's die cut something and see what it looks like foiled. Because I don't own like 8 million dies of something, right? And what I want to see here is really want to see the opaqueness of this foil. Um, I used white foil before. I have a video of it. It was like a zebra card I made. Yeah. Many, many, many moons ago. Okay. Can't deal with that right now. Okay. I'm going to die cut this little stag head. Child, are you down here? I, I heard footsteps. Okay. Oh, what does Nancy always say? Foil first, then die cut. That's what I always say, right? Foil first, then die cut. And why? Because if you die cut first and then foil, you get uh, imprints on the side of your die. So we're going to foil, foil first, then die cut. I should follow my own teachings. Okay, so we're gonna dusty, 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 dusty. Now remember, this is toner foil, so you need to have something for it to stick to. You can't just, you know, hope that it's gonna stick. You have to have some kind of a toner sheet or toner printout for it to stick. So maybe if you wanted to foil, if you print it on black cardstock and you wanted to toner foil in white, that would work. Or, you know, you print it on a colored cardstock and you wanted to toner foil in white, that's where you would use this. Yep. 
Yeah, the reason I remember that is I think about the edges when it gets cut, and those edges tend to leave an indent. Okay, so I'm not going to remove the, the peely part yet. We're going to cut first, and then we'll remove the peel. Oh, somebody asked how am I doing with these craft first plates. You guys, does it not look like I am using the daylights out of this thing? Look at it. Does it look warped? Nope. Look at it. I love these plates. I don't know why I did not get these sooner. And I've been playing with the long one they sent me. They sent me one for Slimline. I love it, you guys. I cannot wait for them to get them out in the public for you guys to get to them. The uh, magnetic mat is good. The Milky Shim is exactly the same. But I'm telling you, these plates, they're wonderful. You don't need to buy an extra magic mat or what was that other one we bought some other mat those things don't work very long and i have tried them all i have that clear green and white one this one this doesn't work i at anymore i have the magic mat it doesn't work anymore you know it's it's a waste of money you guys seriously do, you don't need to buy special mats to use your machine if you don't want your plates to warp you got to remember to flip them you got to remember when you're putting them in your gemini or gemini junior to put it in upside down so your dies are cutting upwards instead of cutting down these are just they're this is good stuff um, and the long ones, they come in, I sent the full-size ones to T. She's been using the full-size Gemini ones. And the long ones, I'm hoping they'll have ready to send to the U.S. soon. So, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying these. They're supposed to get cut into. This is a disposable product. You know, it's, I can't say enough about it. And I bought these. He didn't send these to me until after I bought them, you guys. So I would not have endorsed a company that was just sending me free product. I had already bought them and was already using them when they contacted me. All right. So let's see what the peel looks like here on the toner sheet. That's pretty good. It's not 100% like opaque white, but it is pretty good. And it's still glossy. I was concerned that it would look matte. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to do a little, we're going to do a test here. We're going to compare this to the mink foil because I think this is better than the mink foil. And here's my little stag head and I just got to release the, um, plastic off the top. Yeah, Melanie, they do have the full size Gemini. They're in my Amazon shop if you guys need them. Go under die cutting under Nancy Stamps Amazon shop. That's pretty nice. All right. The white toner foil is definitely Nancy Stamps approved. That is good stuff. That's really, really good. Here's the clear piece. Completely removed all the foil. All right. I'm going to do this test again. I got sticky stuff on my hands. But I'm going to do... I'm going to compare it to the mink foil because... I didn't get that good of results with the mink one. Oh, uh, let me find it. I don't even know if you guys can find this except online. This is the Heidi Swap mink version. Let's see if it does just as good. But I, no one's been able to find it, so I really haven't used it or talked about using it. Let's just do a little sliver of this. I honestly thought they stopped selling it. Okay. Well, it's a lot easier to get it from Blue Bonnet, for sure. Okay, so let's... Do dusty, 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 dusty. And we're not going to die cut this. I just want to see what it looks like. But you guys have been asking me for months. White foil, white foil. Where's the white foil? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. 
Now we found it. It's that blue bonnet. Hi, Carlin. That looks good. I'm very impressed with that. I didn't expect it to come out that good. Yes. Violetta is awesome. She's based out of Texas. Her shipping is reasonable. Her foils are great. She does hot foil and toner foils. Um, I always 100% recommend her hot foils. And now we're, we're dabbling into the toner foils here. Okay, here we go. So this, this is what happened last time I used it, which is what turned me off. So I did the exact same settings, you guys, the exact same thing. But can you see how much of that white is left on there? Okay, so that makes this kind of matte looking when it transfers over. See that, where it didn't fully transfer over? So it's opaque, but it's not as clean of a release as the Blue Bonnet White is. It's a little more opaque. Yeah, I'm going to say the mink is a little more white. You can see it there, side by side. But this is an easier release, and this is easier to find, and this is a better price point. So if you want the super white, white foil, you're going to have to find the Heidi Swap mink white foil, which is difficult to find. And I had these same results. If you go back and watch my video from, I don't know, three or four years ago, it was a zebra card. Look up white foil. Um, I had the same issue. It just, it would not give me complete coverage. Maybe that's why they stopped. You, you can't find it anymore. You can't find it in Joann's. I've, the only place I've seen it is on Amazon, and it's like really, really super high price. So I just got very frustrated, and I stopped using this foil for that reason. So I'm going to 100%. You can see there where it loses its gloss. It has that matte look, almost like a chalky look. Come on, camera, pick that up. The camera's not going to pick it up for you guys. But it has a almost some of a, there it goes. You see that? It has a matte, almost a chalky look to it when you foil with it. Hey, if that's the look you're going for, then you want to try to find this Heidi Swap Mink foil. But I got to say, the Blue Bonnet foil, it's not as white, but it is still opaque. You can see the difference there when they're side by side. But definitely a cleaner transfer, easier to find, and much better priced. So I'm going to recommend that one just because all those other things mean more to me than buying a foil that I can't use. Hi, Leanne. Yeah, it's just not as opaque. When it's by itself, you can tell that it's white. It's just you see a little bit of that black toner come through. The mink one is a little more opaque. It's a little thicker, which is probably why it doesn't transfer over all the way. Hi, Carol. All right. So, yeah, I like it. I don't know that you can find an opaque foil that's going to give you everything that you want. It's a little, it's a little tough to find a, a pure opaque foil where um, they're called like they're called gloss vinyls. There's vinyls like that, but they don't sell the foils that way yet. Um, I know that uh, Gina K, Rena K used to sell the the neon Papa neons, and I tried those. You guys, very difficult to use. Very difficult. They're not designed to be foil transfers. They were designed to be um, transferred onto like a deco foil gel, um, but they were just really hard to use. So it doesn't look too bad at all. It does look gray if you're looking at something completely white because, again, you're using a black toner sheet. So keep that in mind. Whatever your color of your toner sheet is, a little bit of that is going to come through. Let me grab the Crafty Krita toners. Hold on. And again, Crafty Critter just sent me a new box. 
I haven't received it yet, but they have new foils being released too. So for my Australian folks, they have it there. Um, let's see here. I try to get my nails done every two and a half weeks, two weeks, two and a half weeks. I'm going to try that again, but we're going to try it on these toner sheets. Because I know a lot of you guys ordered these. So what do you use these for? Well, you can use them with your leftover foils. You can also use them on these kinds of things. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, my evil mind. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Hold, please. Okay, so we're going to cut this about yay big. I hope that's big enough. I'm going to foil this one in white. Actually, we're going to do both of these. I'm going to do one in white and one in pearl, just so you guys can see what it looks like with this colored toner sheets. By the way, Crafty Critter is the only one that I know that sells colored toner sheets. They pretty much invented that. No one else has offered that. Everybody else you see will be a copycat. Thanks, Cheryl. Hey, don't forget tomorrow night, you guys. 8 p.m. right here. Stamp Wars. We have a special guest. Um, I am a little bit nervous because Stacy has been doing like the evil laugh for the last two weeks. And she's like, you guys have no idea what's coming. I am evil. Like she's literally said this to us. She said it last time we were on a live. Um, so she's got something up her sleeve. She's really excited about the special guest. So we'll see what happens here. But yeah, I'm a little nervous. Okay. So that's going to be the white. And then he, on this one, I'm going to do the pearl, TTR number three. So you can see how this pearl looks really based on the color that's behind it. Look at, ooh, that's going to look so nice. Yes, tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on Nancy Stamps. Um, I believe Stacy said we do have a discount from the sponsor. Um, she's, she was really excited about everything. So I can't wait to see who it is. Oh man, my dusty, dusty brush is transferring dust instead of removing dust. Okay. Okay. So that's the white. And we're going to do the pearl. Never seen before stamp wars, she says. Oh, I hope I know which side goes down. Okay, it's this side. It's the matte side, not the shiny side. Like, I'm almost afraid, like, a bucket of ice water is going to get thrown on us. That's how, like, she's been, like, totally like Dr. Evil. Not joking. So, Texas is two hours behind right? Um, it doesn't matter if you put it through twice or not because it. I already have full transfer. It's not leaving any white behind. So it wouldn't matter if I put it through twice or not. There's. It's not leaving any, it's not leaving any foil behind. You can't change the opaqueness of it. All you can do is try to change how much foil is, is transferred and I'm getting 100% foil transfer. Yeah, I was sick last time, you guys. I was really, like, dying. I was, like, oh, blowing my... I was muting it and blowing my nose every five minutes. Okay. I picked this up from Hobby Lobby because I didn't have one. Hobby Lobby had, like, 60% off. 
so I, I got it the shamrock. Okay, so now you get what we're doing here. Oh, it's one hour? Okay, Sunday it's two hours. Sunday, Sunday's daylight savings time. So Sunday it'll go back to two hours. Okay, so here's here's the green toner with the white. So it kind of you can see the green behind there. Whatever the toner color is underneath, a little bit of that is going to show through. So we're going to do this one first. Okay, so you guys are gonna ask me what kind of a shim, what was my sandwich in this? I'm gonna show it to you, hold on. Okay, now we can peel the top part. Okay, see we have 100% foil transfer, see that? So, it's white, but it's it was put on a green toner sheet. So that's pretty good. Pretty darn good if you're looking for white foiling, you guys. Okay, now let's do this one. So I'm gonna leave my top, I leave the top uh, transfer sheet on there until I'm done cutting it. That just protects the foil from getting scratched up when it's getting cut. So let me show you what my sandwich is. If you're using a Gemini Junior and you're having problems with these thick 3D folders, I'm gonna show you what my secret sauce is here. I use, the Milky Shim. Okay, I call this the Milky Shim. Then I use one of these. These are double-sided Gemini plates. Okay, they come in a two-pack. They're super thin, okay? Um, but you got to order these from Amazon or HSN. And I use one of those. Then I use my 3D embossing folder. And this is for your ultra di thick 3D ones. And then I use another Milky Shim. So I don't use the clear plates. I don't use the magnetic shim. I use a Milky Shim, a, a double layer. I forget what they call these. It's a, I don't know. It's a Crafter's Companion double-sided shim. And then I use another Milky Shim on top. That's my secret for 3D embossing folders. And it works most of the time. Except that time when I didn't push it up far enough. And I have a little sticky note next to my machine so that when I, oh, ants, <laughs> I meant to do the shamrock, not the heart. Wasn't paying attention to my placement there. That's okay. Now you can see how that pearl translucent foil looks on green toner sheets. And again, we still have that clear kind of protective layer on top. So we're going to pull that off as I can get a hold of it. There we go. That's kind of cool. It looks like I doused it in micas. Oh, I got a little tear there. And you can leave that clear layer on top. No one's going to know. You don't have to take it off. It protects your foil. Look at that. It looks like I put it in mica. You guys see the different colors in there? It's kind of hard to pick up on the camera. It's really pretty. I'm trying to get an angle where you guys can see. There you go. You see the rainbow colors? It's 
So that's where translucent foils come in. They're going to take on whatever color you put underneath. So if your toner sheet underneath is black, you're going to get that image. It's going to look, it's not going to be completely white. It's going to look white with a with the black underneath it, right? So here it is with a black toner sheet versus here's on a green toner sheet. You have two, two both white foils, but because this isn't 100% opaque, that's going to happen. But it still looks good. It still looks like white foil, you guys. It is white foil. And that mother of pearl one, that clear one, that's just really neat. I mean, it's it's pink here, yellow here, and a blue over here. And I know my camera is not picking that up, but. So whatever color toner sheets, and again, Crafty Crit just launched these. Keep an eye out, you guys, because I'm going to have a special discount code coming up as soon as those new foils come. And you'll be able to get these um yellow pink blue and green and then the dark color ones are like a maroon a purple a dark green and a dark blue so they have eight colors and then you have traditional black um but they're sending me a box of new foils and some new toner art and things like that so just keep an eye out especially if you're overseas you're in australia they give an amazing deal and have fast shipping there but for those of you guys in the u.s that have been looking for white foil and you were checking out these new foils from blue bonnet she has again amazing hot foils and now she's had some beautiful toner foils for you guys to check out on that right it's white pigment not metallic exactly yes yeah that's why i call them like vinyl gloss they're they're not they're not foil you guys So hopefully that answers some questions. I'll go through these again. So the Mother of Pearl, the translucent one, is TTR number three. The white opaque is TRLM25. The lilac purple is TTR number four. The color shift purple teal is TTR number two. And again, for that one, I recommend using number five. Um, the, the brightly colored oil slick one is TTR number one. That's my favorite. That's this, that's this one here, you guys. Beautiful. Perfect for, you know, we got spring just around the corner, I hope. The red... Hollow is TRLM24. And the pastel color oil slick, the light, light colors, is TTR number five. And I have not, I, two of these I think are pretty close to, these two I think are pretty close to H&H, &H, but the rest of these I have not seen anywhere else. These are unique to blue bonnet no one else i've seen has this kind of color combination styles and and i listen i buy a lot of foil i try a lot of foil before i can recommend it in the foiling snobs club and if you're not a member of foiling snobs club that's our facebook group i spend a lot of money and a lot of time testing products so you guys don't have to okay so i have not seen these styles anywhere else which is why I got them so that I could share share that with you guys yeah and you if you have prepaid pre-bought toner sheets you know you can use them I'm not a big fan of those I like printing my own I like crafty critters um i brought these out honestly you guys because I knew I was going to be testing stuff and so since since these aren't ones that I like absolutely love and need to have that's why I brought these out to test with I'm not a big fan of these I think honestly for eight pieces and these are how much are these things they're pretty expensive in my mind it's not worth it I'd rather you can get a laser printer for around $120 and print them yourself 
And then you can download the designs from Kitchen Sink Stamps for a couple bucks. You own it forever. You can print it out 8 million times if you wanted to. And toner, 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 foil away. And so that's what I recommend if you can afford it. Get yourself a cheapy black and white mono laser printer and you can print out all of the toner designs that you want. Yvonne, have fun for karaoke! So these I've printed out on my printer and I foiled all these by myself. And then um, Crafty Critter sells a whole bunch too. If you don't want to invest in a laser printer and you want somebody else to do it for you, you can buy these, uh, you can buy designs from Crafty Critter. I mean, just be careful because not, not everything that's printed with a laser printer is meant to be foiled. And that's where I want to caution you because there's a lot of companies that jumped on the foiling bandwagon and they're like, oh, all of our stuff is toner printed. You should totally foil it. And then you find out it's two-sided and when you go to foil it, it looks like poop. It messes up your toner sheets. It doesn't foil very well. So please be careful of that. Those companies that advertise something for foiling doesn't mean that it works very well. I can tell you right off the bat of two products that I would never recommend for foiling that are advertised for foiling and they just don't work very well. So, you know, the companies try to do some damage control and say, well, it's designed to be a distressed look. That's their excuse when toner foiling doesn't work is it looks distressed. Now, that doesn't mean I don't like the distressed look. There are some times where I foiled and it does look cool distressed, but if I'm paying for something and I want to foil it, I want it to look good. I want nice, crisp edges. I want solid foiling. So, like, these eggs, I foiled a couple of these. They all have miss spots on them. <laughs> um, these solid sheets were definitely much better. So, those, those weren't bad. Those are pretty cool. But, again, you get four sheets or eight sheets. Sorry, you get eight sheets. Well... On this pack, you get eight, and on this pack, you only get four of each design, four and four, and you pay five or six bucks. It, it's just not worth it to me, honestly. So just be careful. Um, there's a lot of good companies out there that do sell really good foiling products, that sell good foil, that sell good toner printed designs, and there are companies that just advertise clear embossing powder and say it's foil embossing powder. There's no such thing as foil embossing powder, okay? It is clear embossing powder. Um, and, and I know a lot of people have tried that method. You go ahead and try it, okay? My opinion is it doesn't look as good as it could look for a stamped image to be foiled. It's just not meant to be. The toner foil ink. I did many, many videos on the toner foil ink. It also did not come out. It's too much work to get it to, to look nice. So in my opinion, I wouldn't recommend that you guys waste your money on those two methods. If you want to try it out, hey, no one's stopping you. If you can get it to work and it gives you the results you're looking for, go right ahead. But the reason we named our club Foiling Snops Club is that so we can teach you to get the best out of your foiling. In other words, nice, crisp, clear foiling that looks professional, that looks like you bought it instead of you made it. Um, you know, if you want to try any of those other methods, go right ahead. There's no right or wrong way to be creative. You can do anything you like with your creativity. So, but for me, I'm just very traditional when it comes to my foiling. Those are not methods that I think work for foiling. If you want to be grungy and you want to do mixed media and there's definitely an art form in that, then do it. But I think when you try to put foiling in that group, um, it's just a way to cover up bad foiling, really, for me, in my opinion. So take it as you will. <laughs> All right, you guys got any questions before we say goodbye, good night? The boss is texting me. Y'all good? Um, all right, if I could just ask you guys a favor, if you have not checked out the new Simon Hurley release videos, I posted those. Ooh, this is the one that went out today. 
Simon did a wonderful release. Um, he did these lemons. He did two new lunar paste. He did a new peel apart background stamp. So if you guys haven't caught those videos, please go check those out. And the new Catherine Pooler release is also live. If you guys can please remember to click my link when you're shopping, um, either the Catherine Pooler or Ranger or scrapbook.com. These are the Catherine Pooler cards that I have showcased. So the two videos that went live already are this video and this video. So if you're a Catherine Pooler fan, go check those out and then I have a new video going live I think Sunday um okay so stay tuned for that shake your card so um but make sure you watch the videos give them a thumbs up if you enjoyed them and if you're looking to do some shopping check out the Simon Hurley release and the Catherine Puller release and my links are attached to those videos as well and yes Stamp Wars tomorrow night 8 p.m eastern right here on nancy stamps i hope to see you guys there i'm nervous and excited at the same time but i know you guys will be there to cheer us on okay bye guys stay safe and go buy your foils bye all